again I don't know this guy is a little bit fussy this morning but um anyways yes I look tired I am tired um but yeah so it's a Saturday today um Matthew and Emery are playing in the other room if you hear them in the background but um yeah it's a rainy day we don't have any plans we had plans we canceled all our other plans <laughs> so our now plans for the day are just being home and i have been dying to paint recently like i i don't remember the last time i painted certainly not since melly was born i well maybe once just to quickly finish up a commission that i uh yeah got interrupted on when i went in uh into labor <laughs> kind of not really but um so but yeah i have just really really been missing it and so i um have been thinking about just doing a little quick painting today uh there's a, a really lovely uh i actually need to look it up i'm like 98 percent sure it's lilac tree slash bush that's kind of right outside our window in the kitchen uh, that is just beautiful and I wish I could put fragrance into the painting because it just smells so lovely. So anyways, I was planning on kind of setting up outside and painting that today but since it's raining, uh, I'll probably like just kind of set up right next to the window because I can look out from the window and see it from there and um, just kind of, I don't know, just do that to feed my soul kind of thing. So anyways um so yeah that's kind of the to-do list for today laundry need to do some folding some hanging clean up the kitchen uh paint and just have some good family time anyways this guy soon is gonna go down for his next snapper i'm pretty sure um he's been pretty tired because he's not been sleeping well as you can see We just went for a walk and got caught in the rain, which was somehow unfortunate, but somehow fun. But anyways, I just quickly wanted to share like this thing that I've been thinking a lot about recently and have been trying to apply to my life in several different ways. But the, the biggest example at the moment is with cloth diapers. So if you have followed me like on Instagram or anything, you probably know that um i use cloth diapers and i have used them for my oldest son like basically ever since he was born um and so it's been my intention to use them also for this little guy um but not surprisingly i just like can hardly seem to keep up with the amount of laundry in general but plus diapers is just amazing sometimes and so Often I end up like I just run out of the cloth diapers and it takes me a couple of days until like I can actually wash all of them and dry them because we don't have a dryer either and fold them and have them put away so that they can be in use again. And so then I end up using disposable diapers for like a couple of days until I can kind of like get back in the flow of the cloth diapers. And so Anyways, my initial response to that would be like, ah, oh, just forget it. Maybe I can keep up with the cloth diapers for just Emery, but for Melvin, I'm just gonna use disposables because I can't keep up. But what I've decided is like, no, that, that actually doesn't make sense. Why, if I am able to have him in cloth diapers for like four to five days a week, then why won't I do that? And I can, like, what I'm saying, what I'm calling it is like supplement with disposable disposable diapers um when i can't use the cloth ones and so 
this kind of mindset that I've been trying to apply to my life in a lot of other ways because I mean when I'm honest I have so little time to do anything at the moment that isn't cooking cleaning and taking care of little guys coming away from this all or nothing mindset has really helped me because for example um I I would love to work out more and I have a huge value for that and like physically oh my goodness I feel like I need it so much I don't have time to do a full-blown workout which in my mind it looks like you know maybe I change into some active wear and I roll out my exercise mat and I do you know like a 15 to 20 minute exercise a like workout and then hopefully I have some time to like stretch and shower after that and like honestly I do not have time to do that like it's not that I'm lazy and putting it off I literally have no time for that okay the point is it's so easy to just say I don't have time to work out and then you just don't do anything say you're waiting for your food to heat up on the stove or in the microwave like you can just take two seconds and reach down touch your toes and stand up take a few deep breaths do some shoulder rolls and like that's at least something and I feel like we just write that off so much of like oh I don't have time to do that and and so so we don't do anything it's such it would be so quick and okay I think I've got my point across um I just thought it would be fun to share and so yeah that's just been something that has been really helping me a lot and thought I would share with you so um I'm going to go see where the other boys are and um I think it's also soon lunch time <laughs> So yeah, a lot of our stuff is still packed up in the attic. So I ran up to the attic and brought down this guy and like a few other painting stuff. I couldn't find a, a blank canvas, so I just grabbed one that I don't really care that much about and I painted over it. So it's been kind of a bummer because precious time is just running through my hands as I'm waiting for this to dry. Um, it's pretty much there, but um, so yeah, and... The weather is like seems pretty okay right now but I think I, in the forecast it looked like it was probably gonna rain a little bit later and so um, the bush is, I don't know if you can see, is right out here and so I'm gonna set up here and just like paint from outside the window, paint outside from inside the window and um, yeah so we'll see how that works and so yeah, I'm just waiting for this guy to finish drying, um, but I'm gonna set stuff up. Thanks.
your head is big. <laughs> I'm finished. Oh my goodness. So sorry. I'm at least finished for today. Um, because, so Emery is uh, watching a movie with Matu and he's using the vacuum also right now. He just learned how to do that. But anyways, so this guy's starting to get restless and I've, you know, I'm pretty proud of my progress. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna ever gonna work on it more or if it's just, you know, it was just a fun time. But anyways, I am gonna finish this video up here. We also just really wanna have some family time on this Saturday. I'm sorry, I hope you can't hear Emery's vacuum in the background. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, see you around.